airbags. Let's see. Ouch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just uh, getting ready to go to Area 27 today. Car's still out here on the street in the trailer. It's a good sign. We're just in Penticton here now. Um, weather looks perfect. Probably be about 20 degrees today, so not too hot, not too cold, and. Uh, the car looks awesome. I'm pretty happy with uh, how the repair of the front end came out. It's definitely not perfect, but because race car. And uh, today we're gonna go see what kind of times we can set on Area 27. I honestly have no idea what to expect. I hope for a sub 220. Um, car should probably be capable of low twos but this guy could be a problem so we'll see how it goes we'll uh i'll be back at you here in a few minutes uh it takes about half an hour to drive to the track so we'll get out there and see how it goes 27 pretty nice day be there in about half an hour pulling up to the track here it's kind of interesting, they don't label anything here. There's no signs or nothing because it's a private track. My buddy Chris there has a membership, so we're meeting him here and gonna go drive around in circles. <laughs> and we're here. They uh, built this clubhouse, I guess, since I was here last year. Is it open? I think so. So that'll be kind of neat to see. the longest straight from turn one down to turn two. It's hard to actually see from here because they there's so much uh, elevation change. Alright, we're gonna get in here and get unloaded. Alright, set up. We're just waiting for Chris to get here so we can go out. I got my tassels on my wing. I have no idea how long they should or shouldn't be, but I kind of did some random ones. Got a camera there looking at them, and we'll see how the uh, wing looks like it's doing. Actually try and get some data out of a test day for once. Uh, we're going to measure tire temperatures and pressures, all the usual stuff, and see how she goes.
session it looked like the wing was stalling a little bit so I've lowered the wing just a touch three degrees uh, got the camera here watching the little streamers on my race car um, way too much boost probably just the load real world load so I turn the boost down uh, we'll see how the fueling is and uh, ran a 230 so far um, Car was being pretty good. Suspension feels awesome. I'm going to uh, turn that down and uh, we're going out for another session here in a few minutes. Probably for the last session at A27 here. Um, I am going to run with no end plates on my splitter because I ripped one off, so I took the other one off. I'll uh, make some new ones when I get home, no big deal. But uh, it's not a bad way to test anyway, see how it feels without them. Um, I think I got the wing angle at a decent spot. The My uh, little streamers here are showing pretty good the only one that seems to not attach is this one right behind the wing mount so that makes sense i guess um yeah i think i got the tune not too bad about 26 pounds of boost so it's probably just shy of 500 horsepower and it's working relatively good the new kw suspension feels amazing um car barely rolls it super neutral i'm really impressed with it and i just kind of have the settings in the middle so since it's working right now, I'm just going to leave it as is. But uh, yeah, we'll get out there and see if I can uh, get that sub 220 this time around.
So Chris had a little turn 11 mishap. That's him on the wall over there. Coming over the crest. Um, yeah, he's driving the car, so it can't be too, too bad, but it looks like it's uh, a little tweaked up. Anyways, hopefully it's not too bad. Luckily, he's, uh, luckily he knows how to fix cars, because that car is two cars put together as it is. <laughs> so yeah, interesting. His Wonder airbag went off, I just got from the marshal. Oh, his airbag went off. That After sucks. I got an injury from taking me out, the airbag right in the arm, man. You got the curtain airbags, that's cool. What the hell, Chris? Passenger was on the wall side. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's classic. The driver drives the passenger into the wall, that's pretty typical. Being in a rally car, I know how that goes. Yeah. Chris, what did you do? <laughs> turn, turn 11. We did some rally. Yeah, there you go. Got some dirt on her. Tested the integrity of a welded together unibody. I say we get rid of all the airbags. Let's see. Ouch. Oh yeah. That's did it good. smash your arm into the into the yeah, right side here. of the wood door? The airbag. My arm was just chilling like this, and the airbag came flying out. Right? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Brutal. Look at that. <laughs> that sucks. Look at this rim. Looks like it's not too bad, eh? Look at this no. piece of forged wheel. Couple, Couple wheels. wheels. Oh man, if those are cast, they would have fucking, <laughs> they would have blown up, eh? Oh yeah. Like Super cast, weird. like full cast wheel. Or yeah. Or... It just spit you out the top of the turn 11 there. Turn 11, slow, dip. I just couldn't get back on the line and then I dipped my free front right. And then I just kind of slowly corrected, but trying to get back on and then it just rotated, just slow, slow rotate. Oh bounced man. Bounced one front and then rear right yeah when i was here with matt we dipped two tires off there too and yeah. it's just like hold on and yeah, pray but, it, but it, i don't know this thing it rotated that time. yeah well it's it's my, like we been fine. my turn to head out there so one go throw uh throw my gear on and jump in the car I didn't really get any clean passes either and, and I, I was still playing with the fueling a bit and it was breaking up real bad in second and I don't know why but it's the end of the day anyways the cars work pretty good I got a few, few little things to play with which is typical pretty much always have to fix something and uh, yeah just letting her cool down here before I shut her off call her a day not as successful as I would like but it's better to do it here than at the hill climb because the hill climb you get no time to fix anything so we'll uh i'll probably go and cruise around the street a little bit and just try and figure out why the the breakup was happening on the last pass there well it's gonna drive itself on the trailer so that's not a complete failure right we gotta figure out how to get that trailer down to these ramps but yeah toe is so buggered up on this front right that it kicked the ramp out now there's no no ramp for the back tire, so we'll jack it up and kick the ramp underneath it again. A little bit of fun. We made her. It's a little interesting with that front tire pointing over yonder, but she's on there. The bumper's still okay. Airbags came out as soon as we fucking bananaed the oil cooler a little bit. What's in there? What's in there? Nice big rock. Push the rear tow bar into the subframe too. Tough rims. Yeah, right? Those are tough wheels. It's too bad this one got bent because it didn't take any damage. Yeah. It just took a fucking some chunk wood. of wheel. But the chunk of the actual chunk of wheel is missing. It's got like whole side wheels. curtain airbag and everything came out too. Beer 30s? Yeah, what's that? It's beer clock.